What's up everyone? This is Wolffire Mods. Hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Uh, today I have a tutorial video for you all that has been requested many times by many people. Uh, that video being how to rig facial animations and simply rig models in general. I myself have had a lot of time like over these past two years to find tips and tricks on how to rig models successfully with little to no error. I mean, uh, obviously I'm not perfect at it <laughs> and some of you may have other ways or methods of doing things and that is totally fine. I mean, feel free to share those ideas in the comments section of this video if you'd like, because, I mean, obviously this is a continued learning process, so anything can be helpful for anybody. Uh, hopefully my video will help cover some points maybe you aren't familiar with, or maybe you're kind of struggling with yourself. Uh, so to begin with with this, uh, be sure to have OpenIV installed for both GTA 4, GTA 5, if you're wanting to use GTA 4 models, that is, and Jim's Evo, Jim's 4 for 3DS Max. I myself am using 3ds max version 2022 just because I, I don't trust using the new version yet because i don't know if all the other stuff will be outdated for like importing gta 4 models and stuff but today i'm going to be kind of using the gta 4 model as my base and showing how the facial animations work i'll be covering in this uh blood effects maybe illumination i haven't decided on that yet i'm gonna show you how to rig facial animations clothing outfits uh, different things like that uh so to begin with I'm going to tell you to create a folder. Uh, it can be, you can name it whatever, I'll call it uh, model rigging. This is where you're going to import, uh, or you're going to export some models to import into 3ds Max. Uh, so I already have GTA 4 open here and GTA 5. So to begin with, we're going to want a GTA 4 model as our uh, one to import and add facial animations to for GTA 5. Uh, Let's see, which one do I want to try for today? Mm, let's see. Obviously, I'm going to try and pick someone who's maybe not too chubby because they tend to be a little tougher to work around. I, I may share a video on that later on. Right now, I'm just showing you the basics for it. Uh, let's see. You know, I'll get one of these uh, hustlers because I haven't done them in a while. So let's see. I haven't made these guys in a while, I mean. But uh, we'll get this dude, the one that we all know and love. So we'll get him. I'm going to export him to the folder that we created, model rigging. You're going to also need the WTP, that's the textures. So export that as well. All right, so you're pretty much done with this. You don't need that anymore. Uh, and then for GTA 5, you're going to need a model to rig it to. And I always have used uh, Barry because I found him to be the one that has the best skeleton. Fits with most in-game models anyways. Um, let's see. So yeah, we're going to export that as well into model rigging, the YDD. And before you export the YTD file, be sure to go into IG Barry. There's an issue with GTA 5 that it combines all the skeletons into one. I don't know why they do that. It's so annoying. But the thing I do is it's a little tedious. You got to go through, copy, paste, paste it into each of these folders here. This is the tedious part of model rigging. This is why many people tend to not do it themselves. Um, and I totally understand that. Yeah, you're going to paste it there, delete it. If you all have any tips on how to get through this easier without having to do this part, feel free to share it because I would love to know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you're going to rename this to Feet OOU. So you're going to kind of copy the name here. Do that for each one. That way you don't leave it IG Barry. You can't have it be like that. Which actually, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. Uh, the GTA 4 model does have hands. I, I like to keep the hands attached to the head myself because it, it just works better that way. But if you want to say add gloves to them and stuff, it's best to disconnect the hands. But for this situation, I'm going to delete the hands, actually. We're not going to have that for this character, because I'm going to have it attached. I'll show you what, how to actually do this. So yeah, um, let's see. Okay, I already added it for that one. So we're going to copy head. Paste it there. Just go through and do this for each one. I'm sorry, this part's really awful. <laughs> but uh, it's the best way to get it all working correctly in 3ds max all 
All right, and once you've done that, go into here, edit. This is where all the information is. Just get this part. I like to copy this right here. So it has feet zero zero u feet zero zero u. You don't need to copy the high. Then you're gonna put it over this null. Paste it there. Dot scale. That's what you need to type. Dot scale, and then click save, and then just do that for each of these. Sometimes you're lucky; they don't. They already have the dot scale there. Uh, usually, it's the heads and stuff. But uh, this one, these ones obviously don't have it. Yeah, you'll save it. Go back to head. I see this one has a dot scale. That's perfectly fine. That helps you not to type things. Paste it over that. Perfect. Just hit save. Also, I'm using Notepad++ for this because obviously this makes it a little more clear to see. I really like this layout. So dot scale. Save. Next is teeth. Or teeth. I don't know why they call it that. I'll paste that right here, dot scale, save, and then we got the last one, which is the upper, which myself, I don't like to keep the wrinkle, because, you know, the uppers I have, they don't tend to have wrinkle effects, because GTA 4 just doesn't have it. Some outfits do, like from other characters, from other games, so you could always keep that if you want, but I myself delete it, you know, and uh, do the paste process here. But when I deleted it, just be sure, you know, delete head wrinkle, just put it to pad.sps, because that's the basis for this. Delete all the different wrinkle effects down to UM global params. Don't delete those, obviously. Keep that all there. Hit save. You have all that there. It's ready for rigging. But go back here, and then edit the ODD file. Get rid of the hand, because that's the one I removed. And you can save, and you can add things to it there as well, and just different things like that. Okay, so now you export the OTD, or export it to OTD, the YTD file. There we go. Now we have that. And don't worry about the hand textures being there. That doesn't matter. So we have the, the model rigging folder here, and it is ready. And if you uh, want to go ahead and get the character ready for uh, texturing and all that type of stuff, so you can get it ready for in-game, if you have add-on peds, you can use that. Uh, I, myself, uh, just made my own folder DLC pack and I just put my peds in here caught will fire out on peds um, and I actually have a placeholder it's called IG berry placeholder but if you're actually wanting the model yourself this is what you do you go to E go to component peds IG and follow this path right here models CD images component peds IG and what you're gonna need is IG berry here so you're gonna highlight it drag it to desktop go back to your add-on peds folder whatever it may be um, rename it to what you'd like. I'll just call it IG Hustler because I mean that's who I'm going to be importing into GTA 5. Uh, so you copy the name, just paste it for all these. That way you have kind of a, a placeholder in set or set for these models. Um, that lets you get everything prepared. So let's see here. That put it. I put it right here. So this is where the model is. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and get the textures. So like uh, these are all of his head textures. I'm just going to add them here. Just copy and paste. I don't like to just drag them over because it needs these textures so you can see it um, in the editor for 3ds Max. So copy paste. All right. Now go back to Hustler. And obviously, uh, you don't want him to be white. I mean, he's a black dude. So what you're going to do is, is rename this to black. And then copy name, which obviously I'm lucky. GTA 4 models are already like that. So you can just replace. So now you have all these in here. And the head spec, all of this stuff is important. So take note of that. All this stuff is important. So the head spec, like say, if you want his earrings to glow a certain way, uh, like shining with the sun effect while his skin stays normal. I'll show you how to do that real quick. So what you're going to do is is export the texture, the whichever one, doesn't matter which one, to desktop. I export it as a PNG, the head OA black. Save it to desktop. So it's a PNG, so you can edit it with uh, 
you know, a paint tool or Photoshop if you're lucky. I, I don't have Photoshop, but I use the paint tool. I'll click new, get canvas, transparent, and then I'll place this here and crop. So pretty much it's all set here, but we're trying to make spec. We're not trying to add anything to him because uh, his texture already looks cool. So this is my color spec basis. It's kind of a uh, making of this that is on five mods. It's pretty much, you can find this, uh, this tool pretty much anywhere. It tells you what all the different colors do for making emissive shaders or metals or, you know, different clothing textures. Obviously skin is pink. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the main character here. But eyes are blue. Um, his jewelry is going to be metal, so it's going to be yellow. But you can also use green if you'd like. Um, so what I'm going to do with that is, is uh, I'm going to take colors. So like I've already got block colors here. I'll probably export this to my Discord. So I'll put the link in the description for that. But when you add this in, make it a 3D, and then just cover whatever you like. So. I'll just cover both of these because it's his rings and his earring. So we'll cover it like that. Then that will be a metallic color in game. And then next we need something for the eyes, which I haven't actually gotten a square yet. I'll be sure to do that before uh, anything here. But what I do with this is, is I use a tool called the snip tool. It's a snipping tool. You can click to add a new snip. I like to just get a little block. This is how I got all these specs. I'll save it to desktop as, you know, I spec. And then when you're done with that, click undo. So I spec is on the desktop. Get that. And then make that a 3D. Be sure that's behind the, the metal. You don't want it to be accidentally overtaking it. Yeah, cover the eye. Again, this can be tedious to some people, but if you want your character to look good in game, you have to do this. It's just, it's part of it, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, now we get the skin spec, which don't even worry about this being a 3D. You can actually just widen this to whatever size. It doesn't even matter. And I like to just cover the whole character. I mean, you can make it in depth and get his like fingernails. You can get them to be a certain color or whatever, but this is... Pretty much the basis for if you want certain things to stick out compared to other stuff. Um, so then you're going to save this to desktop. And we'll call it head spec 000 because that's what it uses. And then you don't need to save it or nothing like that. Go back into Hustler. And then you're going to get the head spec, paste it there. So now you have all the different textures, the head normal, the head spec which I'm actually going to go ahead and delete the hand spec stuff because we don't need it. Uh, I won't be needing it. And to be fair, we actually don't even need the hairstyle either. So I'll delete that later. Um, I'll leave the feet. I'll leave the lower. Um, I'll probably delete the uppers. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that or not. Uh, we'll go ahead and delete this stuff. And just to test them in game so you can see his facial animations. I may just leave that there for now. Fit his head to the suit. All right, so then we don't need this stuff anymore and just empty the recycle bin. All right, so now we are officially set up. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna bring up the GTA 5 material editor, importer, all that type of stuff. Okay, so we have this, press import, find the folder. So model rigging is what I called it. We'll get IG Berry. So now we just wait for it to import. Um, yeah, and then I'll go through the process with y'all. Hopefully this won't be too long of a video. I'll be sure to clip some things out um, before I release this. But uh, I'm going to try and cover everything that I can so that way you all can have, have confidence in making the characters that you have wanted to see in GTA for a while. Um, there's some other steps to this. It's, I'll go through each one. Uh, there's quite a bit to it. Okay, so what we've got here is uh, it's imported the model, and sometimes it'll come up with a report saying long hair isn't in there or whatever, but Rockstar doesn't include some things, and it'll just tell you that, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, so what you can do here is get the viewer set up. How I like to do it is, is right now you can see it kind of looking like this. You click standard, 
materials get rid of transparency. I don't know why it automatically says that. Uh, zoom in all this stuff so you can kind of see what you're doing. All right. So then we're going to rename this to IG Hustler. That's the character we're doing. Um, I'm just going to delete this stuff. Um, so you don't need the mediums or the lows. Now the eyes are very important. The teeth or the teeth are very important. Uh, that is going to be our placement for the GTA 4 character's eyes. So we need to resize the head and everything to fit that. Also be sure to click orthographic. Let's you zoom in a little better. But uh, yeah, the eyes are very important in this. Uh, if you don't have it placed correctly, like if it's a little bit off or like, it, it can be a little bit off. If it's like too large or like say too spaced out, uh, your character, like the eyes will glitch through your character's head. It's the most awful thing. And I still struggle with that today, to like to this day. Um, so next we're going to import the GTA 4 model, which is Jim's V or Jim's IV. Um, click start. And then open formats, import the ODD file, which is going to be in our model rigging folder. So we get G African low one, get the folder that has the textures and it will import that. Which I may add his outfits to just so we can see it all flow very well in game or whatever else. And I can cover just blood effects, things like that. So you all can get a, a feel for what it's going to be like. Sorry, that was so loud. <laughs> I'll be sure to turn the volume down on this thing. So you can close that. We're pretty much done with that. All right. So then click this. Right click. Click Select Child Knowns. Hit the Rotate and Select <coughs> um, thing up here. And what I like to do is click Z, which is over here. And then type 180. And hit Enter. Because that rotates the character to face the right direction. Don't know why GTA 4s is the other way, GTA 5s is this way, it's just the way it is. And you can move it in position however you like. Don't worry about his legs floating off the ground, that's an easy fix, I'll show you how to do that. So right now we're trying to get the eyes to be placed correctly. Which, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the things I don't want, that way I can see what I'm doing. So delete head 001, I'll get the regular lower. Um, Actually, wait, I'll get it. I'm not going to do the long hoodie right now. That one's really tough to do. So we'll get the other one. I don't need his necklace stuff right now. All right. And then for him, be sure to delete the mediums as well. Just go through, delete these. Because we don't need them. Uh, I've never used them. All right. So now it is in place. I would, if I were you, I would hide things that you may not need right this second, like the hair, the feet. Um, you really don't need the head either right now. Uh, I'm talking about the GTA 5 character. Don't need the lower, don't need the upper. All we need really is the eyes, because that's going to be our placement. So right click, hide selection. So our eyes are here. You can see, pretty terrifying. <laughs> Highlight, so select child nodes for the dev model. All right. And then this is where we can kind of zoom in and then use our other screens here. Zoom in as far as you can because it lets you move at a slower pace. So move it down, move it forward. But you can tell that his eyes are a little bit off placed. It's just where his head's a little bigger. That's fine. Um, then you're going to click this. It's called the Select and Uniform Scale. So it lets you scale the model. So we're looking at the above section now. Hit the right red line you're going to want to bring it in a bit that way you can resize the body and the head that way you're not changing it too much because you obviously want to keep him the way he looks uh, i think about about right there roughly would work and be sure to resize the middle middle section a little bit that way his head doesn't look like an oval not too much uh, bring it forward that way his eyes are Going through, because that's pretty much where the placement is for these other eyes. And then unhighlight. So he's placed where he needs to be. 
So that's exactly how it needs to look right there. Which I believe it shouldn't be too hard to work with. But what we're going to do next is, is go into the head, the character spine, go through all these, go under where character head is. This is what I love to do. That way I don't disconnect all the mouthpieces and try to do all the movements separately because we don't got to do that. We're going to try and keep it simple. Click the rotation when highlighting the jawbone of the GTA 4 skeleton. Then you're going to bring his jaw down. We can actually hide the teeth now from the other one. We'll do that real quick. But yeah, bring the jaw down enough to where you can edit it. Uh, and obviously keep it away from the rest. That way if you weld the character, which you're going to have to do, the character's mouth doesn't weld together and stuff. So pretty much that is an okay. Let me close it just a little bit. There you go. We don't need it too much. About right there. That'll work. So the head is positioned. Um, so now would be the hardest part, which is moving the fingers into place. Uh, I'll go ahead and go through that too with y'all. If you don't want to see that, you can skip ahead and stuff, but I'm going to cover it. That way y'all can see what I'm doing. And you can kind of do this for other characters as well. Um, what I like to do is I like to hide this skeleton that is underneath. So we're going to highlight head, select hide, and then just put this back, which is the model. Oh, that's all we need to see pretty much. And then for the, your GTA 5 character, you can uh, unhighlight or unhide this, which you're going to click unhide, hide the head. Oops. Yeah. Hide the head. And then we have the skeleton here so we can uh, move it into place via that. So go back to the GTA 4 skeleton, uh, go under clavicle and right clavicle. I like to go ahead and open those. Click left upper arm. So then we're going to move this where we think the uh, hand is going to be. Click the hand. I like to move it about like to there as well. Kind of rotate it. Obviously, you can kind of mirror that right there. Um, upper arm, move it back a bit more. That's fine. And then just pull the arm down enough to where you can kind of get it positioned with the hand bones. Which looks about right there. Uh, I want to actually rotate it a little more this way. That way we can get it aligned with the wrist. That way it all moves really well in game and you don't have to experience anything not moving or something like that. Okay, so now we have this hand relatively good on there. That's perfect. All right, so next we're going to get the fingers. And GTA 4's fingers, uh, there's no pinky bone. We run into this issue when we've been trying to get GTA 4 animations lately and stuff for GTA 5. But uh, I'm just going to go through each one here. So the thumb bone, you only need the top one. So move it to that, which that's pretty much in place. You don't even have to move it any more than that. And if you ever like make a movement with it and want to go back, just hit undo. <coughs> Um, I mean, those of you who are familiar with it will know that. Um, next is the ring finger. Just move it to where you see the yellow coming through, and that's when I stop. Click the middle piece. You're going to want to pull this down as well. That way it follows the bone as well there. I know his fingers can be a little long. That's just GTA 4 fingers. If you ever wanted to resize it, you know, use the scale. Pull it up. It works just like that which I'm not going to really worry about that right now. This doesn't mess with movement. It just looks weird at times. Next is the middle finger. Pull it into place just like that. Get the middle piece. Move it down just like that. Perfect. And then the last one, which is the pinky finger, <laughs> which isn't really the pinky finger. Uh, put it right there. And try and move it to where it'll move with the pinky as well. I like to move it a little bit to the right sometimes just to get it more on, on point. And then move the mid piece down, move it left, and bring it back just like that. There we go. Hand is now in place. That's that's how it needs to look. If you have anything other than that, it most likely will not move correctly. And that will be a huge, huge error in game.
because uh, when holding guns and stuff, it won't look right. So next, we do the right arm. Tedious, I know. But obviously, I've gotten pretty good with GTA 4 models in general. So like when I have models that like I've already got the hands for and stuff, I'll just import those models back in to this editor here, and I'll just take the hands, leave them here, re-rig them again, uh, attach them to different heads. That way, I don't have to redo the hands every time. Just a little tip and trick right there that I like to do. So, again, just move it all how you like. Um, get the hand. Move this over a bit. Uh, yeah, move it a little bit like this. There you go. Rotate it there. And now, rotate again. Move it about like right there, I think. Maybe a little bit more just to be safe. Pull it down. Forward or back and over here. See if that's a good point. Uh, can be pulled down a little more. There we go. That's better. All right. So now we move on to the thumb again. Just put it in position. Again, you can check for the yellow. That also helps. All right. Next is the ring finger. There you go, yellow. Hit the middle piece, bring it down, there we go. Next finger, middle finger, bring it down. And rotate it a little bit. Bring down the middle, bring it there, pull it to the right. And then the pinky fingers, again, you know, do this. Rotate a little bit to the left that time. Hit the middle. So it's cool, this guy actually has rings. I really love the detail Rockstar put into these characters. That's why I love using their outfits and stuff for different things. But once you have the head, uh, what you can do now is, is highlight this, right click on the modifier list, hit collapse all, and that will leave the model's positioning while removing all the bones, so you don't have to worry about uh, doing anything with that. Then you're gonna right click the head over here, unlink. So we are now done with his head. So you can highlight everything head 00R for the GTA 4 bones, delete it. You don't need that. And if you have other heads and stuff, you could always rename this to whatever. Uh, you can just say head, head base or something like that. And uh, hide the bones for this. All right, so if you want the eyes to be separate, my brother actually showed me an easy way of doing this without having to go through deleting vertices. You hit, um, under selection list, you hit the element. You're going to click the eye, both of them. Hit control. That way you could ugh, highlight multiple things. Excuse me. Multiple things at a time. So you can highlight whatever gets the whole element. You can highlight the head just like that. But I'm only going to get the eyes. So control. Go back over here. Uh, under edit geometry, click detach. And then we're going to call this eyes base. Eyes bay. Yeah, eyes base, hit vertices, high on highlight that, um, hide the head, and look, there you go. The eyes are now separated, and that is perfect. That's what we need for the uh, the character's eyes to move better in game. Because I haven't learned how to make the eyes be attached to the head yet. Like actually editing them through that, I've not learned to do that yet. Uh, one of these days, maybe. If you got like again, if you got tips, let me know. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rig our eyes. Uh, it's pretty easy. This part is very, very easy. So select the teeth, unhide, and what you're going to want to do is, is go under Edit Mesh, hit the vertices. You're going to get the illumination correct, which GTA 5 usually has it correct, so the alpha needs to be 100 in order to make the eyes seem more like wet, because obviously eyes are more of a wet surface than anything. Color should be 255, 128, and 0. That's going to be your general for most of these things. Uh, so once you've made sure that's good, um, deselect, go to the eyes of your GTA 4 character, hit the vertices, control A is by the way, is what I'm clicking here, control A lets you highlight the vertices all at once. And then the alpha is 100, but we can't have the illumination like this. So put the illumination to black, just put zero all across the board, just drag to the top. Color for this, put 255, second, put 128. And then 
enter, which is okay. And you don't need to do anything else with that. So next, um, we're going to do the materials, which is very important. Oops, ignore that. The materials is very important for this. Uh, it determines the wind, the wind effects, which make things, which makes different things move in game. Uh, don't know why. And also determines the texturing um, base, like if it's emissive or anything like that. So what you're going to do is just bring up your GTA 5 material editor. So click this. I like to minimize this. And teeth or teeth is whatever. Um, click options. And this is everything here, which I don't believe I have gotten the textures just yet for the teeth. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, I should have done this before, but you know, different steps you can always miss. So export this to desktop, this to desktop, and this to desktop. So and then copy the names of this. Rename, paste, copy, rename, paste. Spec, paste. There we go. And then just drag it in, just like that. Save. All right. So we now have the teeth. And now what you're going to do is just create a new folder. Call it uh, model materials or something like that. Fine. And uh, you can delete this. We don't need it anymore. And then what I like to do here is, is if you already have all your textures set up in here, uh, you can click export all textures as a DDS file to, to model materials, and you'll use that for your material editing. But obviously we don't have everything done here. So what I like to do is, is go here, go to model materials, export it as a DDS file, export, should just say DDS, don't change it to anything else. Uh, save it there, save it there get the teeth as well because that's all we've made material wise here so far all right click the x so now we have our materials go back into 3ds go here click to go to teeth normal go to desktop uh model materials so we need the teeth normal click that go to teeth diff click that and then teeth spec get that and then click reset, which if the eyes move in game, if you ever wanted to fix that, just put zero across the board for all this. You just drag it right and then straight or left. Do that for each of these. Sometimes you get lucky and you don't have to do it. I'm just gonna see if it'll get lucky this time and I won't have to do it, you know. Uh, and then this one, you only need to add the teeth diff because that's how Rockstar has it. It's a ped default material, all right. So then next we hit the vertices and hit control A, attach, and you'll attach it to the eyes. I've always just clicked do not modify, but I know other people have their own ways. And then when you have this, click delete, control A, go down here, click this to be one, not 16, put two zeros before that one for select, and then weld selected. And sometimes if you have like uh, the vertices or like not the vertices, the the eye may look like uh, blocky or has different edged faces that don't look right with it at all. You can always click, uh, you can always leave that highlighted, but click polygon, just highlight that, and it will smooth out the uh, model under surface properties. I always click five. You can click five, it doesn't matter if you do it there. But pretty much all these different like vertices edges and stuff will all be smoothed out to where it will look like this in game, like just all flat. Like it's supposed to be and then click Control a go to skin make sure that you only have the bones for the teeth um, unhidden um, because if you click to add the bones it will add all the other ones if you don't have them hidden so i'll show you what i mean so remove these that are there which if it already has what you want and you can delete certain ones and then just go ahead and rig it and stuff but uh well for this i'll just go ahead and add it manually so add what I like to do is I like to select all because it goes ahead goes ahead and opens it. Um, which for these we only need the two eyes. So scroll down till you find under scale head, left eye and right eye. Click select. All right, so you got both of those. You don't have to worry about any head movement or nothing because it's got its own movement. Uh, go down to weight properties, weight solver. Hit the three dots. I put twenty five, five twelve. Use winding numbers and we're good. That's rigging. And then. 
now it's there, which if you want to make sure that it actually has movement, you can deselect it like this. So see the vertices like that. Click Edit Envelopes under the Skin uh, modifier list under Parameters. Hit Vertices. Um, go down to the Weight table, which you can click Weight Tool. And then for this, you can highlight the vertices individually and add weight to different types of uh, like spots of the model, which obviously if you want this to move with the left eye like it's supposed to be, um, you hit the one, which will set it entirely to move with the eye, with the left eye. And then this one you want to move with the right eye, which you can tell already that it's got influence because it's red. So that means we got our eye placement correct. Uh, if it doesn't, um, usually that'll mean that you, like if it looks like this when you have this highlighted uh, or like the left eye highlighted or something, that means that you do not have the placement correct. So then put one across the board for that. So the eye movement is done. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Unless in game you want to make some corrections, which I'll show you how to do that. So next, what you want to do is click this, the teeth, base. Click material editor. And it will add the GTA 4 materials. Sometimes if you have other characters, it'll add other materials to it. Get rid of these. So click options, click delete. And then when you have this, click reset, reset. And that's it. And then to make it to where you can see the model from far away, like in game, and not have it make it look weird or anything, click right click on this, click clone. Do not click instant, click copy. And rename this to medium. Click enter. And then click medium. And you're done with the teeth. That will allow you to be able to see him from far away, but obviously not take away uh, from the quality of the model. So it'll still look how it's supposed to look. So next is obviously the head, the toughest part to actually edit, but uh, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're going to unhighlight the head 00R, so unhide, obviously our basis. So click the editable mesh, control A, it's 100. What I like to do is I like to set it to 50, that way if you have certain parts that don't need to be wet in the game, it won't make it entirely wet. You'll, you'll see what I mean in game. And uh, hit color, 255, 128, 0. And what we're going to do is, is hit the model, bring up our material editor again. And for this one, we're going to actually have to rename this to black. So head diff OA black. Copy, paste it there. That way it'll export it correctly. And the bump normals, which we have these already in our model materials, the head normal, go ahead and add all this to it. There we go. And get the spec, head spec. Again, wind, we'll test and see if that actually works or not. Hopefully we'll get lucky. And get the head black, and reset. All right, so that is all ready. Um, go ahead and click your GTA 4 head, or whatever head you're using. Click the vertices, control A. Again, set this stuff to how it's supposed to be. I'm actually going to show you all something with this, with the blood effects, if you want blood effects for the characters, um, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. I'll show you what will happen if it doesn't work. So I'm going to hit modifier list, go down to UVW map, and hit channel 2. I'm sure there are other ways, like using the paint tool and actually you know, adding the vertice paint to it correctly. I haven't gotten to that point yet. But, uh, yeah, what we're going to do is unhighlight all that and leave it like that. Go to here, Control-A for the GTA 5 head, click Attach to this, and then just click that, Delete, Control-A, Weld Selected, because once you already set it, you don't have to set it again. All right, we now have our GTA 4 model attached to the GTA 5 skeleton. Um, so now what we do is, as we go to the skin, we remove all the bones that were already here. And now this is where we actually grab all of the bones and I'll show you what to actually delete so that in game everything works correctly. So click add, select all. So unhighlight, so click control and then left click hustler. You don't need the head either. So pretty much you need all this stuff. So click select, it will add all the bones here. Um, I like to get rid of facial root because I don't really know what all this does yet. I wish I knew. If you all, again, have pointers, let me know. Uh, scroll down. You don't need the eye because those are separated already. 
You don't need the lower lip root. I don't know what that does. Get rid of the right eye. Um, we don't need the upper lip root either. And I always get rid of the IK different stuff because in game it's always broken everything I've done. So I've just gotten rid of it. I don't add the PH either. You can leave the MH and all the RBs. So all of that keep. So next we go down to the weight table, 25, 512, use winding numbers. All right, and that was relatively, relatively quick. Usually it's not quick. So let me go here, unhighlight it. And then now this is where the rigging begins, the hard, difficult rigging. But I'm gonna go in depth with y'all and show you how I get to look, how I make all the models, what I do now. Let's click edit envelopes, vertices. Hit the weight table here. Now highlight the whole model uh, where it's just the head and the hands. Scroll up and then you're gonna go down this list. So browse center, once you click that, hit zero. Jaw, hit zero, because we want to make all these influences ourselves. We don't want it to just automatically have randomly generated it, because you can see what's actually highlighted by the blue here. That is not the left brow. So hit the zero. It gets rid of it. You don't have to worry about it moving at all. And you can manually edit it yourself. Left cheekbone, zero. Left lid. Just do this for pretty much all the facial bones. Okay, so now that you've done that, click Alt. So click it and hold it. And you use left click and unhighlight the head. So that way you only have the hands highlighted. And I like to make it this be uh, looking better in game with make it not to make it not look rugged, like rigid and stuff. And the way to do that is uh, to go through different things. I'm going to keep the influence for the elbow. We don't need knee influence for the hands, so click zero on that. Don't need knee influence there. Don't need left arm rolls. Uh, leave that. We don't need the thigh roll. Don't need neck movement for the hands. Don't need the right arm roll. Don't need this. Don't need the head. Don't need calf movement. You actually don't even need any arm movement like cat, like clavicles or anything. Keep the fingers. Don't need the foot. Keep the forearm in the hand, but don't keep the thigh or the toe. You don't need the upper arm because that's not what the hands are moving with. And you don't need the neck movement. Don't need pelvis movement, calf, clavicle. All right, and you don't need the foot. All right, let's just do these ones here, zero. And then you don't need any of these spine roots, actually. I, I once thought you needed them, but you actually don't. So get rid of these. There's no influence for these. Hit zero for all these. Okay, and you're all set. Now you can begin facial anim work. So what I like to do is, is I like to highlight everything pretty much from the jaw point. So like, let me see if I can get it. So get this, all right, and then click Control or right hold, hold Control. That way, that way you can highlight different things without it, um, obviously, you know, removing certain ones you've already grabbed which I'll show you, you know, if you don't hold uh, control, it does this, which if you ever accidentally do that, don't panic, hit undo, and it will bring you back to where you were. Um, so keep highlighting it. I like to get pretty much the jawline. Um, I'll get that, oops, shoot, click undo. If you ever make an error, click undo. Um, yeah, I like to get pretty much that amount there. Make sure, rotate, that it's all good. And now that you've had those highlighted, go scroll up here and then click scale head, click one. That way it has no influence from anything else. And if you ever put sunglasses on them, they don't clip through his head or anything like that. And this lets you, this allows you to manually add in facial animations that move correctly. So then next, oh, don't do what I just did. <laughs> next, um, where we were, just click out of it. Highlight what you didn't highlight. So usually that'll just be not colored or it'll be like blue or because it has influence from other things. Uh, there you go. Highlight all of that. 
All right, I think, yep, that does it. Don't know what that was doing. All right, so the next for this, we add in, we press the plus button. This adds 50 to whatever you have selected. So like we have the scale head selected. So press the plus. And what I like to do is, is I like to press alt, get rid of that. I press and hold alt. Um, press it again. That puts us at 100. So get rid of these. I like to at least get 200 for the top here, because then I can manually add neck movement to it. Um, so with that, we'll add two more pluses. Puts us at 200. So then remove these, remove those. OK, so now this is all its own. So add. Uh, I like to add usually the middle neck section to about 400. 400 to 500 usually. And then this one needs to be obviously be more where it's closer to the head. So about 500 to 600. Um, and then next, highlight again what you what you need here. So I'll show you. Which with this now, you can highlight parts of the head that would move with the neck. So like, I'm going to click clavicle so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, so highlight pretty much all of this stuff lining the facial areas. So about to that point, which I'll go ahead and go a little higher as well. OK, so we have back of the neck, neck portion, part of the jaw. So now we have all that highlighted. Go to scale neck. Where is it? Scale neck one. That's what you need to click. All right, so with this, you're going to want to click where you have this highlighted. You're going to want to click plus twice. That way you can unhighlight the top because we're going to need to kind of go in like a staircase with this. Um, let's go ahead and remove this stuff. And then, all right, uh, go ahead and plus it again. And that puts us at 150 for this, so you can get rid of that. So that way, remember the staircase. And then one more time, plus. All right, and then get rid of this stuff, all aligning the neck. All right, so we have this highlighted. And we'll test the movement. I'll show you how to do that. Um, OK, so next we add a bit more of a plus, maybe one more. We'll kind of see how this all moves. I don't want to do too much with it yet. Add a bit more, maybe one more time. All right, we'll give that a shot. And then unhighlight, close, unhighlight. Let's be here, background noise. My puppies are in there. They're just relaxing. Uh, all right, so now open up the bones here so you can kind of rotate and stuff. So now select scale head, hit the rotate. This is where we test to make sure that it all moves correctly. And what I like to do during this is hit flat color so you can kind of see what you're doing. Let's see. OK, so it needs some head movement down in the middle part. But let's check the back of the neck. Yeah, so a little more head movement is what it seems to need. Yeah, you see what I mean? Head movement towards the middle. Which, you know, you can never be precise. Sometimes I get it, like, correct right on. but. Obviously not this time. His head's a little bit more slender, so let's see. All right, press the vertices, go to here, bring this up again, which obviously that was like more so this section that needed more head movement. So let's go ahead and add more head movement to this. About pretty much those are what needed it. Let's see. Yeah, all right, scale head. Add a bit more. Uh, maybe that would be good for the bottom part. We don't need any more there. And we'll add a bit more here. There we go. Yeah, about like that. Let's try that. Again, open it up. Go to scale head. Let's see. OK, that's a little better. Um, let's see.
Could probably still use a bit more head movement on the top section. But you can tell, back of the neck, looking good. It's actually supposed to look like that. Click undo, that puts it back into place. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get the middle part again. Add some more head movement to it. I figured it would. It looks like it would need it, um, which is obviously this section. Hopefully we got all of that. Yep. And then go scale head, add more influence. Actually, uh, let's undo a little bit of that. Let's actually plus it. Where it's getting a little red down here, we'll get rid of that. Add more to just this section because the red plays a huge part in this. That lets you know what's really getting influenced by something. So let's go back. Let's see if that did it. Hopefully it did. Yeah, that looks a lot better. It's where it has an Adam's apple. I never really had models that have had Adam's apples in this GTA 4 edits too much. So it seems like it's looking pretty good though. Let's see if the rotationing looks good. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. There we go. And if it looks a little off to you, like, at all, I mean, you can always go back and edit it yourself. I mean, if it looks a little bit off, it, you most of the time won't see that in-game, though. It'll, it'll look relatively okay. So now we can begin the facial animations, which would be the brows and all that different stuff. So the brow center, which usually I like to go ahead and get the brows themselves first. So click the left brow. I like to start with that one. Just click uh, control and just click all the individual ones that you want movement from the brow with. So that would all pretty much be the left brow. All right, so go ahead and go to left brow. I like to press it to about 150 and then I'll deselect the bottom ones because it, then it will move a little better. And then put that to 300. And then go back through, uh, let's highlight the right brow. Okay. And then go to right brow. There it is. Again, 150. Which eventually, uh, when you get better with it, you'll not have to go through this tedious process too much. You can actually just really get into this and just know what to do and just click all the different ones and it'll be pretty much an easy process. Um, and anyway, right now it probably looks really tough, but don't worry about that. All right, so then this will be the brow center. I once thought the brow center was the forehead area. I might be missing something with that. I mean, if you all have any ideas, feel free to share. But uh, the brow center is what's in between the brows. So like it's literally what crumples up. So we need to add some influence, but not a lot because sometimes it can look a little weird. So I'll put it to like 150. But yeah, if y'all know what moves the forehead, feel free to let me know. I've been thinking maybe it's the facial root because I don't really use it. But I mean, feel free to share. All right, so next is the eyelids. Um, sometimes what I like to do is in this is actually go up over here and bring back, unhide the eyes. That way you can kind of see where they are. And highlight everything that's a little bit out from it. So like all of this. This is where he's going to blink from. So that pretty much is it right there. So what I like to do is I like to get left lid upper. I like to make this about 500. That'll usually let it play relatively well. Um, and they can blink fully. Alright, so now that that's there, you can go to the next one. Click all the different ones here. There we go. And then we get the right lid. 500. There we go. And now the cheekbones. Sometimes this one's hard to determine where some characters may be fatter and stuff like that. But, oops. but this guy seems to have it laid out relatively well. So it's about where the cheekbone would be. So for this, uh, again, 150 is usually the, the route I go. So 150, and then unhighlight the surrounding points, which uh, usually these ones, which sometimes you can leave these. The, normally the 
facial animations. I don't know why I've seen. Normally the facial animations go down. So like, I think this will be fine. We'll go with 300. And then we try and get the similar stuff here. Let's see if we got it. Um, there we go. And now we get the right cheekbone. Make sure my dogs were behaving. All right, let's see. Click 150. Go through there. And highlight that. And highlight that. And then we'll make this 300. That may be correct, may not be. We'll see. All right, so now that we have the cheekbones, the eyes, and everything put correctly, we can move on to the lips. Which, let me see here. Okay, some of these are hard to determine, but I'm just going to click these ones here. Make sure it's not the uh, teeth that you're highlighting. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe catching a cold. <laughs> All right, so upper lip. I usually put this to about 200. Um, and then the left lip top. I'll click all of the points that are from the left. All right, so that's the... Oops, let's see here. Make sure that actually is his whole lip portion. Yeah, that's relatively it. Uh, I'm actually not going to get that one. So left lip top is what we need. So again, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, this is how I've always done it. Uh, put this to, normally I'll put it to 250. And then now we highlight the right side, similar to the left side. And then do the same thing, which if you, if you don't have to like always go through here, you can actually go to this and it'll sometimes be right here, right lip top. Um, 250. All right, next we do the lower lip. There we go. Let's make sure that was correct. Yep. All righty. Um, yeah, that looks correct to me. So then click face bone, lower lip, make this 200 as well. And now highlight the lower lip, which we're going to get left lip um, top. Let me get this one here. There we go. Uh, let's see. His lips are a little big. Let's see if I can maybe uh, get a little more from that. There we go. So this will be the left lip bottom. There it is. All right, and I'll make this be 200 because I'm not gonna go full on with that. Sometimes the lower lips can be a little odd. There we go, and then make this right lip bottom. Again, 200. And then this will be the right lip corner. Again, it's right here. I'll make that uh, 200. And then this is left corner, so it's pretty much mirrored. <laughs> left lip corner, it's right there. Make that 200 as well. All right, now we can do the jaw and the tongue. That's the last that you have to do for facial animations. So this is the tongue. Be sure to get all the different points. Sometimes it's hard to see them. Get as many as you can. You don't have to get all of them. Uh, sometimes it's not always moving correctly. So. There's usually points right in the front. It's so hard to see them because uh, the model, like the teeth, are just kind of large. There are certain ways of getting it. It's just a little tough, this one. <clears throat> um, I 
Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get that. I'll try and uh, get it here in a sec with something. Uh, I'll see if it works. All right, cool. so click tongue. And you can tell you have pretty much the mid section of it highlighted. I like to go to the right side. Uh, start clicking it to about 300 and then hit alt and then just kind of pick where you think it would be in the middle. And then 400 as you go farther this way. And that was obviously that. But if you have the front highlighted, usually you can add that to be 500 to 600 because then it will move relatively well. Uh, let me see if I can actually get the front. I'll close this. And the way to do that would be to go here. You can go to, uh, this may or may not work. I'm hoping it will, but sometimes it doesn't. So click the tongue bone. Click the rotation. What you're going to do is, is uh, right click on the bone itself right here. And then click uh, freeze selection. Or hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I got to remember how to do this. Uh, there's a controller. Ah, never mind. Hold Alt and then right click and click freeze rotation. And what you're gonna do is is rotate it up. Just however you however far you want to do it. And then let's see, can we see where it is? I could probably make a judgment. Alright, let's see. Go into the skin. Don't Click this because it will reset it. Uh, go into here. Click this. Sometimes we can get lucky. Oh, that's not it. Um, ah, shit. Hold on. It's got to be uh, in this section somewhere. Sometimes that'll highlight too much. Um, you have one highlighted. Let's see if that might be it. So go down to tongue. Oh, yep, that is one. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just keep adding influence. Um, obviously, we wanted it to be about, say, 500. It looks like there's going to be another one. Um, I don't know where it is, though. Hopefully, you can highlight it like this. Let's see. See if that got it. Um, nope, that did not. Okay. Um, oh, I got that one. Okay. I think I love five hundred again. Oh, got that one as well. Five hundred. Ah, shit. I don't know why they have these lines. It's very confusing sometimes. But okay, add tongue. Oh, am I grabbing it correctly? I think I am. Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, make this be five hundred. Ah, shit. Hold on. There's always a tedious task. <laughs> Let's see, tongue. Is that it? Nope, that is not it. Shit, I can undo. There's just one vertice. I can tell it's going to be a bit of a pain. Hopefully this will do it. I wish it would grab it. I don't know why it's being like this. Okay, we got it. There we go. All right. Sometimes, you know, it can be a pain, just like that, but it is there. We now have the tongue fully moving how it's supposed to. So that is actually very lucky. Sometimes it doesn't do that. All right, so go to tongue over here. As you can tell, very, very annoying. So hold alt, right click, and then rotation to zero. And there we go. It's back to the base rotation, and it will move like this in game when he talks. So that's perfect. Now we add the jaw movement. And this one can sometimes be a pain uh, alongside that tongue one there, but uh, it's relatively easier, maybe. Let's see. 
I like to kind of just highlight as much as I can. And then I'll deselect things I may not need. So deselect this stuff. Rotate it. We don't want anything from the upper jaw because that will mess up a lot. So get rid of all of this. You don't need the upper teeth either. You do not want those highlighted. That will be a huge problem. So try and get all the teeth that you can. If you miss some, you'll see it. You'll you'll notice uh, when you go to rotate things if like certain things are being highlighted that don't need to be highlighted. Uh, we totally don't need that either. Actually, yeah, we'll leave that. Um, let's see any more upper ones? I don't think there is. Okay, that should be good for the jaw. That's pretty highlighted there. We probably will have to add some movement to these corners. Um, usually that's something we got to do, but I usually wait to do that. So now we can add some jaw movement. Here it is. Click face bone jaw. You're going to want to hit it once. Uh, maybe hit it to about... Probably do about 200. Then remove this one. Pretty much anything that may clip with the top because we don't want that to happen um, and then hit jaw again we're going to basically put it to 400 because that's good movement for the jaw um, we just need to make sure that it will all move correctly I think that will move correctly um, probably deselect this cheek now I'm going to do that just to be safe that way we have some good movement but not too much movement you know um, I'll deselect these uh, outer edges just to make it move a little better. Alrighty. So now the rest we can add 400 to. So just like that. And usually what I like to do is, is I like to highlight this stuff. Click pretty much about to that. Um, I'll get these upper parts here. There you go, kind of mirroring that, just like that. Yeah, see, like about that much. Uh, maybe that one as well, just to be safe. All right, and then we'll add some jaw movement. Um, not a lot. You gotta be very careful with this. So probably none there. Um, let's see. Add one hundred. We'll get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Get rid of this now, I'm just gonna be safe. And then we'll put this to probably 200 just to be safe. Let's see how that turned out. See if the jaw actually moves how it's supposed to. Oh, would you look at that? Wow, look at that, it actually worked first try. That is that is not always the case, so <laughs> scary. Alright, so what we do now is is you can put it in place. If you're done editing it, that is. Uh, which doesn't matter. You don't have to freeze anything. I like to just do it like about like that. There we go. That's good. Uh, that's good movement there. Alright, and now we are done with his head. Facial animations are done. So go to his materials. Let's make sure that we got rid of that. We did not. So be sure to delete the materials. Always do that. And again, if we have wind effects in game that are broken, I'll fix them. All right. So next uh, you do is you clone it. Again, like you did with the teeth. Medium. This. Medium. Click clone. It's a low. There we go. And we are now done with the head. So hide selection. Hide the teeth as well. All right. So now, if you wanted to add his feet or his shoes or his pants or whatever else he's got, we got the lower here, which he's got these nice cool joggers. Um, he's also got this nice shirt here. I'll get this as well. Um, pretty much for this, all you need to know is, is where the feet positioning is. So that's the GTA 5 feet. So keep that there. Um, you could probably leave his head actually on as well. We're going to need to know that. Um, 
<clears throat> yeah, that's all we pretty much need. So now we can position this how we want it. Okay, so I'm gonna actually probably pull his upper up just a little bit, just to be safe that his head doesn't like go through at certain points or something. About right there. All right, and then to move his arms into place, we'll do it like this. Left arm first. All righty. And then pull it out like that. We need it to at least cover the hand enough. Whoops. Enough to where we can uh, not have it be see through in game. So, like, you can kind of ho hover over it and see, like, that'll pretty much work in game. All right, so we are done with that arm. Do the next arm. Rotate it into place. It's pretty cool actually seeing it come together like this. Uh, I've always been excited to, to see that. Just these models have always been really cool. Uh, there we go. Make sure that it's not clipping through. No, that's good. All right. So the upper is now done, which I did move it up a little bit. If you ever want to put it in positioning, you can move the pelvis bone down just a bit. That way it's right where it needs to be. So then you can, again, collapse all, unlink, highlight the upper, delete. All right, so next... Uh, you can kind of hide this upper. We don't need to add the second. We can do the feet. So this is important. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and open all that right there. So go ahead and grab the thigh. Kind of move it in place. Go ahead and grab the right thigh. Move it into place as well. Get the left calf. Rotate it in a bit. And then move it down. I like to kind of look at it from this angle a little bit if I can. There we go. And we'll kind of bring it back just a bit. There we go. And then grab the left foot. Perfect. There we go. That's right where it needs to be. And then we get the right calf. Bring it back again just a bit. Not a lot. Bring it down. About right there. Right foot. The reason we're positioning it like this is that way it doesn't float in game. Like you can actually see him walk on the ground and stuff. Rotate the foot just a bit, and there we go. Collapse all, unlink. We now have his lower and his uppers, and then we can delete pretty much the whole model piece there. All right, we now have it all set up. We just are now ready to put all these in there. So I'm going to save. You can always save when you're doing these different things. I'm going to just call it uh, Hustler New. I'll just call it that. Save it. That way, if we ever need to go back, we can. Um, I'll do the lower first, because that's relatively easy. You don't have to do much editing at all on that. Uh, I like to make it, again, uh, either between 30 to 50. I'll do 30, <laughs> not 350. Put that to zero. I'm gonna again, put this 255. 128, 0, and again, blood effects, UV map, 2. And then go back to this and highlight. All right, so that is now ready. Unhide. All right, so we now have the lower here. Make sure this one is set up from the GTA 5 skeleton. Let's make it the exact same, otherwise it doesn't keep what you put. 28, 0. Okay, and now... Let's go ahead and get the textures on there, which I didn't add them in there, but let me add them in real fast. Wrong one. Uh, model rigging, Harlem, or Hustler. Let's see. Get the lower ones. And I'll have to rename these because obviously they're not the right name. I'll show you to do that. Okay, we can actually uh, copy name, but delete that. And then just delete all of this stuff from the previous model. We don't need all that. And then rename, paste. Let's 
Sorry for my audio. I should have turned it down a bit. Okay. Rename this to zero. All right. So we now have that. Um, for ones like these, you really don't have to go in depth with making a spec for because it's it's all pretty much the same. Obviously, if you want the zipper to be maybe illuminated or not illuminated, but shiny in game, you could do that. But uh, I think for this, I'll just make it be um, something simple. So let me save real quick. Um, all I could do is, is uh, I have certain models that already have some specs made for them. So like, let me see. Yeah, like this is like a blue spec, so I can just use that. Put that to desktop. All right, let's go to Hustler now. So let's see, upper spec. You can just make it be a blue. That way it'll be like a cloth in game. It won't really be illuminating any type of way. All right, and then this also needs to be renamed. So let's go ahead and delete that. Paste it. Rename. Alrighty, and delete that, rename. Okay, and then this one, again, could have good stuff with the, I think I already made the Hustler before, so like I could actually use the texture from that one, let me see. I think it's under here, let's have a look. Yep, there it is. Okay, so this is the spec I made a while back for it. So I already have that made. I may actually have the upper one as well, let me see. Oh, see, I used it before. I was just like the blue, so that's fine. All right, so then we go to this. Go back to our IG Hustler. Um, where is it? Here he is. All right, and we'll go to upper, no, lower spec. And that's already named that, I think. No, it's not. Okay. Lower spec. There we go. Now just export this to your model rigging. Uh, or model materials that you had before. Export all these different textures that we'll be using. Which I'm gonna actually go ahead and delete the feed up here. I don't even need that. We only need the uh, stuff we're using. So then hit save. Just delete this stuff. Do that, there we go. Okay, and now we add the materials here. Add the lower normal, normal, let's see, model materials. Save, lower, save. All right, now we attach it, which like I said, this one's relatively easy. Control A, attach, do that, press OK, delete, world selected. All right, and now we go into here, just remove these bones. Um, just remove these two, click select. Remove all the facial bones. I like to do this for outfits. Uh, just remove all of this stuff down to MH, and then delete PH. And then just hit this, 25, 512. Give it a sec. There we go. That is now rigged. And you really don't have to do anything else to that unless you just want to make certain parts move a certain way, which is always fine. I'm not going to do that for this. The upper, though, I'm going to show you how to fix that because that one's always a pain. So reset, reset. Okay. So now let's make sure this all moves with the skeleton. Yep, see, it's moving. And get the lower. There you go, see? Moves with the leg exactly how it needs to be. And did I already put the materials off? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, so I just did. All right, click clone. As you can tell, I get pretty quick with it because I've done it for so long. Um, and I'm sure you all have already gotten the steps up to this point. And if you ever needed to, you can go back to me. There's a, you can also make it slow-mo if you want. Um, and then hide selection. Next is the upper. And I'm going to make this be 30 as well. Uh, 255. Oops, 128. Okay, and then add the UV map. Put two. 
There we go. And now I'll go ahead and un unhide the upper. Let's be the exact same. Oops. 28, 0. And then now we just get the texture. Attach them to it. Bump. We're going to get the upper normal, upper diff, upper spec, save, upper diff, save. All right, now we attach it. And then delete, of course. <laughs> delete. And then weld selected. All right, so we are now ready to rig this. It's a bit of a baggy jacket. Oh, um, it's actually good for showing you all what to do for this type of thing. So go ahead and highlight those. Again, remove all these bones we don't need. There we go. And then rig it. Because if you don't manually go through and edit the vertices weights in game, it will look very watery, honestly, like how it looks. It'll move very weird. It'll sway during certain movements and it'll just look very weird and even clip into certain body parts and different things like that. So go ahead and remove the materials. I like to do that ahead of time. Way I don't have to. Sorry if my dogs are about to bark. They seem like they're going to. Go ahead and get the bones ready. I like to have the arms movement so I can uh, see what I'm doing. Let's first make sure it moves with the skeleton. So click spine root, rotate, Looks like it moves good. All right, click undo. All right, and click your model. Go here, edit vertices, bring up the weight tool. I like to click scale head because then I can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, so highlight everything you can in the lower body because uh, we don't want any arm movement for any of this. So just highlight as much as you can. Make sure to check the back periodically as well, making sure you're getting it. Don't get any of the arm. That would be bad. Um, get as much as you can that you think wouldn't need movement. Uh, probably these ones don't need movement either. I don't want movement for the, uh, the text, so I'm going to try and highlight the ones around it as well. Because uh, some movement will, of course, happen and it needs to, but we don't want the text to move too much, so I'm going to be safe with that. Um, that looks good. We'll get that one just to even it out. Get these two. I believe that should do it. Um, there may be a vertice there that doesn't need to be highlighted, but uh, we'll test and see. All right, so now that you have that highlighted, you're gonna go down the line of the different movements here. So elbow, we don't need any influence. Don't need right elbow. Don't need the left forearm roll. We don't need the right forearm roll. We don't need the left forearm or the hand or the left upper arm. We don't need right forearm. Don't need right hand or right upper arm. Now, let's uh, see how that looks. See if we got it first try or if we'll have to edit certain vertices. Looks like we might need to edit certain ones or maybe it's just the texture. Oh, no, that looks pretty good. I mean, uh, it's just the texturing of the underneath of the arm. Sometimes it'll look like that. In GTA 4, you'll even notice in certain models when they move their arms, it'll be kind of stretchy but like it won't always be that way so let's see um, is that relatively good as well i think that one was relatively good as well the way you can tell if something's wrong is if it's like really protruding out like if it looked like this underneath the arm like going out like that you need to fix that but for me i'm not seeing it so i'm gonna say that's actually good well we are now ready to test in game and you can tell right there see no clipping really that happens like it, it would normally go very wet down through here and like squish in we don't want that which now it doesn't so yeah now we are now set with it
So with that, we clone medium clone low. With that, we are now done with this model. Go ahead and save what you've done. I'm going to delete the feet, hair. Yeah, the feet and the hair, because we never used it. Pretty much I'll leave those there in case I won't have placeholders, pretty much as a placeholder, because in case I want to add the accessories or the necklaces and all that stuff, I can do that with the, with those. Um, but yeah, he's now here. So let's export him, test him in game, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. Export, I like to export it to another folder. Uh, I actually have a folder called export, so I just export it there. Give it a moment, sometimes it takes a while. And then we'll see what it's like in game. Hopefully everything moves correctly and doesn't have wind effects or anything like that. If it does, I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, so when this pops up, just click continue. It just slows the process, usually how it is. But when this exports, uh, we'll import the ODD file that it'll, that this is exporting. And then we'll import that into the model that we have already made, the placeholder that's in the uh, add-on PEDS folder that I have. And then I'll show how to kind of add walk styles and growling styles if you're using our UVFA. And I'll also show how to use the voice lines, which I've actually created some that use the hustlers already. So I'll just add that in. And we'll kind of see how that all works. And I'm also using a YMT tool, YMT editor tool. It lets you add clothing options and head variations and stuff to the model. I'll show you how to use that as well. I don't know if I'll, I'll probably link the, the mod page to it in the description. I'll probably do that. Okay, we are now done. So now minimize this. As you can tell, that took way too long. Add in the in the export folder. This is what was exported. Add in the ODD file. All right. Now check your hustler. All right. There he is. Uh, let's put the teeth, the lower, the upper. This is the guy that we were working on. We'll test him in game real quick. Uh, what I like to do with this is I don't like to delete this. I like to actually pull it to the desktop or some other folder that I have models work in progress. Because if I wanted to add more to it, I can just add it to this folder without having to re-export his head and all that stuff. <laughs> all right, so for the YMT editor, uh, when, if you have it, just go ahead and open it. And you're gonna wanna pull out this YMT because you can't use what's already in there or what's on there. You have to actually change it. So IG Hustler, you don't need the eyes. You don't need any of this stuff. I'm gonna turn down my volume. I should have done this earlier. All right, we don't need the feet. We don't need hair. And we don't need the hand, but we need all this stuff. All right, so he is not white, he's black. And I think he's got four textures, so we'll add four. Upper, uh, I believe there was three textures. Um, yeah, let me see. I also have a text file that I'll be adding to our Discord. It's got all the flags for setting up the materials of the jackets and stuff. So for this, it says cloth suit jacket. That's not what his jacket is. It's a cotton jacket. So we'll get this one, copy paste. We have that, the lower, um, I believe there's three as well. And we want uh, not dress shoes, we want trainer shoe sounds. That, this is what this is, is, the sound effects. And the pants, uh, I'll get the pants tight because it's not denim, it's more so like a baggy, I don't know, baggy sort of sports pants type thing. So that'll work. And then teeth. Uh, he has more eye textures I could give him, I guess. But we'll just leave the one. All right. And then when you're done, click Save. IG Hustler. Replace it. Yep. And then just drag and drop that in. Go into Common Data. Edit the peds.meta. And I like to use one that's already a placeholder. So I'll use... Um, do I have any hustlers in here? No, I don't. Um, let's see. Let's, let's use the chai games. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'll just uh, see here what they had in this one. Yeah, I'll just copy this. That way I can really show you what I've done. All right, so go back in, edit. 
So when you find something you want, uh, just highlight one item all the way down to another item, and then you would copy that, click this, enter, and then you would just right click paste, which I've got the hustler one. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna rename this to capital IG underscore capital H hustler. And we don't have any props for them, so just put uh, null. And then his gang walk styles, uh, gang strut. I don't know what that one is. I think that might have been one of our custom ones we've been working on. I don't even know what that is. Um, I'll probably give him the gangster generic or something. But here's where you can add his relationship to his gang, which I made a gang African. Uh, his, his personalities, which is like, if he's a gang member, he can shoot a certain way and stuff like that. Um, this is the voice group that I've given to the hustlers, so I'm going to actually use that for him. Um, but BS Striker, we could call it, uh, let's see, I think it's Karate is what my brother has it. We'll make him be a Karate master. <laughs> and let's do it. Do we have Muay Thai? Oh, we do have Muay Thai. You know what? Let's add Muay Thai to him. That would be cool. And then let me, see, let me get the gangster generic. That's somewhere. There it is. I don't know what that other one was, so I'm not going to test it. Paste. This is how you add more walk styles. Like you can have different variations. It's really cool. So when you're done, click save. So now he's ready to test in game. I like to go to my trainer and I'll add him to it so I don't have to spawn him via typing it. Um, I use simple trainer, of course. Copy one that I've already got. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, that. Right. IG underscore hustler. Copy. Paste. There we go. And then save. All right. Now you can unclick edit mode. And let's test it. Okay, now that we're in game, uh, let's go ahead and spawn as the model. Let's see how he turned out. All right, so this is what he looks like. It looks pretty good. It looks like it's moving pretty well. Um, let's see. This material, the eyes are moving pretty good too. So that means we got the eye placement correct. Um, I'm not noticing too much wrong. Let's see if the movement looks good. Looks pretty good. Obviously, you could manually edit the body at any time, like get certain mo movements to look a little better. Uh, but it looks pretty good, though, from what we did. Um, the illumination's all pretty good. And, like, when he aims a gun, it looks pretty good as well. Let's see if, uh, yeah, the materials. It's looking a little bit sandy. Uh, there's only a way to really describe it. Some some models from GTA 4 tend to have this issue, but the eyes the eyes do look good. Um, but yeah, I, I think the we're gonna have to actually edit and fix that. So I'll make another clip real quick after after showing the model for a bit. But uh, yeah, the materials are a bit of an issue. But you can fix that by removing the wind, which is what I plan to do. But mouth movement looks pretty good. We got the tongue movement actually perfect. <laughs> that doesn't always happen. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, word, word, word. <laughs> He's using his audio there. I'ma write a book about the hood, son. <laughs> see, I actually replaced an in-game voice line or a bunch of in-game voice lines with the GTA 4 ones for this, and that's how I gave him his voice a while back. Uh, you can get that mod from uh, the five months page. I'll put a link in, in the description for it. I am noticing another issue with this jacket in that uh, the illumination around the arms of the cuffs. You can see it right there, the dark spot. Those are like reflection issues with the light. I think you have to use the vertex paint for that, and I've never quite gotten it perfect. I I'm not too familiar with how it works. If you ever have any tips and tricks, share it please. I would love to know, but uh, the only way I know how to fix it currently without having to use the vertex paint is to just remove the wind effect, which removes the materials, like I stated before with the uh, the head texture, what we'll have to do. But uh, yeah, it looks cool though. I mean, it's just 
materials. That's all we're out to fix. The only downside to doing that with removing the wind Jail ain't that bad. is that uh, we'll have to remove the blood effects. So he won't have blood effects for the head or the upper body. Sometimes when I do remove the wind, it sometimes keeps it, but it's very rare. But let's see what he looks like in a cutscene. I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just see what he looks like. Oh, you can really see him up close, make sure he doesn't look what? a little odd. Ignore the like me background. You think I don't that have I am an adam. Right what? No, uh, what are you I talking about? Excuse me. Like that. Wait, that wait, boy. I, I, I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? <laughs> Don't if you want his mouth that. to move in the cutscenes, okay, so uh, you just you press a button. I have a lip Some movement script in there by, De by Jedi Josh, 920. You can get it from five months. I'll link it in the description again. Get back but uh, in the yeah, you can press a key and just have him move his mouth just to the dialogue it. of the game. The house is on or just the, anywhere in general. Uh, uh, I mean, it's good for voiceover, you just voice over your own parts and stuff. It's really cool. I use it a lot for different things, it. different videos. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? But yeah, as you can tell, he moves pretty good so in cutscenes. It looks pretty good. Hey, just good small detail there. issues I got fix. But uh, looks pretty cool though. Holy fucking shit, bro! Dad, <laughs> this cutscene. Dad, there's a dude. Dad, so help! fitting for who he Dad! is. <laughs> Jimmy would be like, "What in the world?" Alright, so what I'm going to test, test now is I'm going to test the blood effects, just to see what they look like. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to remove the upper and the head texture, uh, head blood effects for the texture. But, uh, let's at least see what it looks like. Does it all play correctly? I'm just going to spawn him as an attacking pad so you can see what he looks like as well, with like pain facial animations and stuff. We're gonna kind of see how that uh, how that works. Yeah, you can tell the blood effects are working. My right, guys, got shot through that. See, it works there as well. I love the ragdoll mod I got in here. And that reload right there is a custom one my brother was working on. John Wick reload. It doesn't quite work for these guys though, because uh, we forgot to add the IK hand movement, which allows them to disconnect the hands during combat stuff. Let's see, what does his uh, dead face look like? Now you can kind of make sure the facial animations were done correctly. His eyes are closed, from what I can see, so I think that's a good... Uh, good standing there. Yeah, I mean, he looks dead to me. <laughs> so I think that turned out pretty good. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back. I'll show you how to fix the materials. I'll do that real fast. Um, and that way, if you run to this issue, you can kind of correct it easily and move on from there. And if you're, like, a model creator yourself, I mean, that's a good way of doing it. Okay. So for fixing the uh, material issues, uh, as we saw, the eyes were good in game, uh, so we don't need to worry about that. You can actually go ahead and delete it from the uh, 3ds Max menu here. Um, the upper had some issues. Uh, the lower was good. So for this, uh, delete the medium and the low. I always do this because uh, it lets me make sure that the materials are actually being changed. Um, let me just hide this. All right, and bring up the material editor. Now, uh, for this, let's see. So we need to delete the bottom one. Uh, you only need the top one here and just make this be a ped default. That way it's got no wind effects. It cannot be a problem with the materials at all. Um, and you don't even gotta worry about it. So it's got the head, specs, go ahead and re-put all that back in, just be safe and reset. And that's all you have to do for that. Um, you just do the medium low process like we did before. Low, all right. And then do the same thing for the upper. So delete the bottom and make this be a default.
And this will remove any dark spots. Um, if you uh, all have any ideas for getting rid of the dark illumination without having to do this, uh, I know the Vertex Paint apparently can do something like that with fixing the, the dark coloring of the light hitting it and stuff, but uh, I haven't had any luck with it. I've only had like maybe maybe once or twice it's worked uh, back when somebody showed me how to do it, but it just hasn't worked to the extent that I liked because it, it every time I've tried to recreate doing it, it just never has worked. So uh, this is about all I know how to do with it for now. But uh, I just unhide and then export it again. And you have now fixed the material issues and in game he'll look pretty good. He'll look probably like his GTA 4 version self. Um, just only bad thing about doing this way of getting rid of the weird materials it will remove the blood effects so he probably won't have any blood effects now but here's hoping that maybe it will it will keep it okay so to continue from where we were uh let's see here the export folder it has made another hustler one for us do not drag that and drop it in that's not what we need to do so I click edit mode uh, go ahead and at least get to the point where we can get to our model, so right, right here. So here's our hustler, but open the one that I told you not to delete. So go into here, delete the head that was there, and delete the upper. And yeah, just do that for both of these, and then drag and drop this in. And this will replace it with the newer updates to it that you had just made to the materials. All right, and now drag and drop. That will now have fixed the materials, and in game he'll look pretty good. He'll actually look like this in game, so won't have any dark spots on the cuffs, nothing like that. And I'll show you just exactly how that works. So then you're done with this, and you can test it in game. Okay, we are back in game. So let's go ahead and spawn the model. Let's make sure that the materials were done correctly. Much better. Look at that. No more sandiness going on. He actually looks like his GTA 4 cell. This is how it should have looked like from the beginning, but of course, you know, first person here. Got some some good materials on his hands as well. Looks pretty good. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, obviously, the blood effects won't work. I'm just gonna probably not even test it, but I'm just, I'm just taking a guess that it wouldn't work. Um, because it most of the time doesn't. But yeah, I mean it's a nice vibrant bright color for his, taught me. Mouth shut, ears open. <laughs> for his jacket. So he's looking pretty good. And I'll go ahead and do another cutscene with him. Just to kind of see. Maybe uh, actually I'm gonna try the uh the phone. Let's take some nice screenshot pictures or something like that. Let's see. <laughs> All the expressions, as you can tell, working pretty good. Not anything too crazy, you know, not over the top. It works pretty well. <laughs> and as you can tell, the fingers are definitely GTA 4. Very blocky and just low quality. I mean, you could always give him other hands. I just decided to give him his original just because why not. But uh, he looks pretty good though. But uh, yeah, let's check some, uh, some uh, cutscenes out. See what they're like. Yeah, I plan to make the whole Hustler gang like this in the future, actually bringing them to GTA 5 through this type of method and stuff, and actually revamp their voice lines even more. Um, I want this cutscene. <laughs> but uh, that's just the plan, anyways. This don't look like the way to know. Oh, that one either. Uh, let's try that this one. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. <laughs> And fast, or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man, fuck. <laughs> this came from GTA 4 to GTA 5, having to deal with all this. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, though. Let's try some uh, other ones. I love looking at them through the uh, cutscenes. It's always really cool. Uh, let's try, uh... Another Franklin one. Let's 
I'll try this one. Oh, it's got a mask. We don't want that one. Uh, let's try this one then. That's over. Hey man, get over here! Oh shit! What the fuck, man? I ain't got no beef with the CTF! Cause maybe we doing our own thing. What the fuck, man? Hey, man, you know what I'm saying, punk? Shit! Hey Lamar Davis, is that you, nigga? Nigga, shut the fuck up, just get in! Yeah, that's you, nigga! Fucking idiot! I said I had no beef, man! Shut the fuck up! Hey man, what the fuck? Get this fucking dog away from me! Come on! Fuck! Yeah, it looks really cool. I love the way he moved in those cutscenes. It actually worked really well. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I plan to release this character on our Discord. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can get it. Uh, I mean, I plan to make other videos kind of showcasing Time for a motherfucking attitude adjustment. <laughs> how to add props in, like sunglasses, uh, other models, custom ones, and they have bigger heads than this guy and stuff. So, that's my main goal. I'll, I'll make some more videos here soon. Even one showing a missive work, because uh, that's, that's not too hard either to do. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Feel free to subscribe and like, just to help us out, and uh, and uh, stay tuned for uh, future mods of ours. Uh, I know my brother's got a lot coming, and uh, I got some really cool model stuff coming, uh, so stay tuned. You just bought yourself a fresh beatdown!